everyone, it's JG here with Earth 5D, back for another pick a card reading. For you are the light, the path, and the way forward, friends. How are you all today? Welcome and welcome back to my channel. I am a consciousness relationship coach. It dawned on me not too long ago that 99.5 or higher percent of anyone that ever comes to me for a reading or coaching is about a relationship. So it's something that I've become very proficient at helping others with to create the highest vibration in your lives, whether it is a love relationship, a boss, a parent, a child, you name it, guys. In this reading, though, we're going to be taking a look at love, right? So we are looking at what your person's thoughts and feelings are for you today. Let us take a look. We have three piles to choose from. For pile one, we have Ganesha, little elephant here figure. It also has a trident on it from Atlantis, which is just very symbolic for me. Uh, pile two here, we have a rose quartz heart. Pile three, we have a black obsidian. We have a gigantic hibiscus flower from my garden that I just pulled out. See it guys, it's <laughs> huge and beautiful. And I thought I would share it with you, bring that beautiful flower vibe your way. All right then folks. Take a moment, pause it if you need more time. My friends, got a kitten on my lap. Would not surprise me if she jumps up, up on the table here. We'll see how long she can be content. All right, friends, if you need more time to choose, pause it here and let's dig in. Hello, pile one, howdy doody. How's it going? <laughs> that is the expression probably from the 50s. This, I've heard my mom say it, so. <laughs> Sorry, um, that's a little bit cheesy, but I'm, I'm glad you're here, pile one. You chose the Ganesha, and he has a beautiful trident on his third eye. So gorgeous energy there. We're looking at what your person's thoughts and feelings are for you. We have a message here that we will look at first. All right, this says, if you allow me, I will commit for a lifetime. So this person is thinking about a commitment. Funny thing is, if you allow me. So I wonder if you might have some hidden resistance here. Always it's hidden, right? If you knew about it, you wouldn't want to resist. But oftentimes it's hidden from our, from our conscious mind, which is, you know, a reflection of our subconscious. I'm doing an extended reading today where we're going to do a channeled message from your person, what they want to say to you. Um, but let's first start here with their thoughts and feelings. All right. So let's begin with the tarot. We have a seven of wands to begin. That sounded like a true Chicago in there. Wands. <laughs> I am originally from there. You have the sun card. Beautiful. Let's get a couple. Grew up in the old Chicago suburbs. We have, oh my goodness, four of wands. Beautiful. Three of wands. I would say there's a lot of passion, friends. Of the judgment card. I'm gonna just bust out all the tarot. We have the world, and then I will analyze the cards and the energy. Always the energy more than the cards. We have the King of Cups, and we have the Knight of Wands. Okay, if this person isn't a fire sign, that's okay, but wow, they have a lot of passion for you. A lot of fiery energy. Okay, we're gonna stop there. Okie dokie. So, this is a very spiritual connection. We have the 1111 Union card, and so for some of you, a majority of you, you will relate to uh, an 1111 Union with a divine counterpart. Possibly, you might refer to it as a twin flame, depending on the vernacular that you like to use. Um, 
without a doubt, this person has a, a tremendous amount of passion for you. They are thinking very sunshiny, happy thoughts. This person is thinking about a commitment and um, enjoying living together. They're planning for that. This person is protective of their feelings for you. They have a lot of love. They see you as the ultimate reward for their, um, it's funny I'm saying this. They see you as the ultimate reward. What does that mean, Spirit? Meaning like that they've done a lot of inner work and they see you as like their ultimate um, yeah, reward for the work that they've done to be able to love you, to be able to have a second chance with you for some of them. The whole, if you allow me, makes me feel like for some of you watching pile one, that this person, you gave them a second chance or you're giving them a second chance or the universe is giving them a second chance with you. And, um, and that's why they're like, if you allow me, right? So some of you might feel defensive. Some of you might feel protective of yourself. And here you are, here you are getting a second chance in this beautiful connection based on a lot of happiness and joy and completion. The world is like the ultimate happiness. It's card 21. It's the final major arcana on um, the, the, the journey, the fool's journey, right? From card zero, it's not like it starts at one, right? It starts at zero and then it moves all the way to this completion with the world. So there's a, there's a sense of like they look they don't want to look any farther. They're focused on commitment. It's based in passion. It's based on protecting this eleven eleven union with you. It's based on planning for the, your future. It's based on a lot of joy and sunshine. And that was my little kitten. Um, come here, girl. Come here. Aww. Come here. Come here. Come here. Um, she's just teeny tiny, so it's hard for her to jump. But she should be sleeping anyway. Um, so with this judgment, you know, they're hearing the call to, to, to rise up and pursue this connection. This person might be pretty suave. They have like a big teddy bear on the inside with all this love though and all this commitment. This person has a lot of commitment, feelings, a lot of, like I said, a lot of joy and a lot of passion and a lot of feelings of like that they found the one with you. So we have abundance. I'm a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. I do you feel like this person um, manifested you yeah, I feel like, look at this, guidance. They've gotten some guidance from their inner self. Find safety in your beacon's light. They had, they got inner guidance from either their spirit guides or their higher self, however you want to frame it out. And they feel like, wow, this connection is so abundant. It's so fulfilling. It's so you're so magnetic and they, they, they really do want to settle down with you, to enjoy the world with you, to give you their heart and soul. We have make the effort. Great love is worth taking steps that you're guided to take. Again, if you allow me, right? They're, they're feeling like they want to make the effort if you'll allow them. So if you love this person, you know, they want to make themselves available to you or they are available to you. They're protecting this connection. They're planning for it. They're guarding it. They're keeping it safe. We have children here. Your love life is being affected by children. So this person, um, I feel like they're guiding you and, and protecting you like a child. They, This person feels a sense of responsibility for you um it's not that you're like an infant and you need it's just that they're very they want to yeah keep you safe and protect you i'm getting that energy a lot you might have children together that they also want to keep safe 
In some way, I think that they they see you as vulnerable and they want to be nurturing to you. We have reflection here. The energy of reflection supports our growth through the insights we get from the contemplation of self and others. So this person has been in a reflective state. They've gotten this guidance that you are the one. Perhaps you guys want to have children together. We have the energy of transformation. Transformation supports our ability to gracefully flow through times of transition, allowing the old to make room for the new. So whatever kind of history you've had in this lifetime or beyond, um, this person is very committed to the abundance that they want to create with you, the life that they want to create with you, the love. And they've been reflecting a lot on that. If you have kids and they don't, They've been thinking a lot about how they can contribute to your kid's life. This is not a taking energy. This is a very giving energy. This person sees you as their sunshine. Ah, taking a sip. So it's like you're like, cool, drink of water. All right, so let's get some charms. So let's see. So we have this alien energy. So this is like out of this world. The passion, the abundance they feel for you. We have the letter T, the letter O, the letter A, Ada. <laughs> I Ada. We have the, the letter B as in boy. Bada. <laughs> We have an M, like Mary. Mm, we have like this passion, this red alert fire, the fire truck. Wow, if this person hasn't told you how they feel, they're wearing a bit of a, playing a bit of a masquerade here. This person has a lot of serious feelings for you. Look at the wedding ring came out. Like they want to get married to you. I'm not joking, friends. This is the energy of commitment. We started from the beginning with that. Oh, look at this is a double confirmation that they want to live with you. We have the letter C. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so that might be significant. We also have a I'm gonna go with D here. It's tough to see. <laughs> I think it looks like a D. What do you guys think? Either an O or a D. I think this is a D. Let's call it a D since we already have an O. Um, we have this tiny little fat kitten. So maybe cats are significant to you guys. We have another O. Oh, Archangel Michael's here. We have unicorn energy. So like you stand out to them. You are a unicorn. We have another T here. A lot of mermaid and unicorn energy. There's a lot of uh, star seed energy, a lot of quote unquote alien energy with this uh, number three. This could be March is significant. It could be the day you were, also the day you were born. Um, the three reminds me of a triangle, which is also like you, your person, and spirit. Uh, this person might enjoy fishing or like going into the ocean. I feel like this person prays a lot. This person has a connection to Archangel Michael. This person has a connection to you. And I, I think I can't emphasize enough how abundant they feel with you and how happy and how important you are to them. Okay, friends. So if you want to stick around for the extended reading, would love to have you. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. I have a lot of you guys follow me on YouTube and I think... You don't know I'm over there. <laughs> so I'm gonna post the my uh, Instagram handle. Love to share energy with you in that uh, platform as well. And I want you to know, sending you so much love and light. 
and make sure you subscribe to the channel so you never miss a video, especially if you hit the notification, if you really like it. <laughs> and I'm so grateful that you're part of the Earth 5D family. Actually, I feel like reading this to you. This is flipped upside down. Let's see what this says. Anything worth doing may be worth overdoing. So they have like a, they are ready. They are all in, they are committed. They're ready to overdo it here. They're all in. All right, guys. So much love and light. Take care. Hello, Pile 2. Welcome to your reading. I'm so happy you're here today. Welcome to Earth 5D. Welcome back, Earth 5D, 5 Dears. The family of us folks shifting our consciousness from 3 to 5D. It ain't no joke. It's real. It's happening in the physical. It's happening all around us. It might seem kind of confusing um, because... We're being called, called to change, and those changes cause a disruption sometimes, and it might feel like, rather than things coming together, that they're unraveling. But that unraveling is leading to, you, to your heart's desire if you just can trust. Okay, trust, 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 pile two is the message I'm giving to you specifically. So you have the rose quartz heart. Beautiful, okay? I'm gonna read you this message. We're looking at your person's thoughts and feelings. I am also gonna do an extended reading. So, let, and that's gonna be a channeled message from your person. So let's see what this message is. It says, I will not sleep or rest till you are mine. Whoa, that's passionate. So this person is on a mission. They wanna make you theirs. They're very passionate which is uh, indicated here also in this rose or tarot. Very sweet energy. Let's get your tarot. Yeah, look at This starts with the six of cups. Doorbell ring. It was the pizza dude. So anyway, guys, it's really interesting because the sweetness and tenderness that I was feeling in the rose or tarot is reflected in your first card, which is the six of cups. So this person has a lot of tenderness towards you, okay? This person feels like a lot of soulmate energy towards you. Let's see what else we have? We have the nine of wands. We have the knight of wands. Very cool. You saw the knight in pile one as well. We have the ace of swords. We have the king of swords. Hmm. We have the Six of Wands. They have a lot of energy here. Um, we have the Knight of Cups. We have the Ace of Cups, friends. Wow. Me, Major Arcana, and the Devil. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this person... It's a bit all over the place, okay? But it's only because they're in like, they're very good, they're like a thinking person. They, they're they in their thoughts uh, often with the King of Swords. They're used to like making uh, decisions based on their thoughts rather than their feelings. And you've stirred up a lot of feelings in them. So with the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Wands, it almost feels like they're out of control. Um, and that's hard for them. Their feelings are out of control. So it's not something that they can control. And so for them, that's like the devil energy because it's like, oh my God, I can't control these feelings for this person, pile two. And I have the, you know, they're overflowing with love for you and they're overwhelmed with their feelings of sweetness and tenderness and, and soulmate energy for you. And that is tough because we have the nine of wands here, which means like it's kind of uh, hard for them like they've been through a lot and they're not at the 10 of wands, but they're like, they're, I feel like they're close to their breaking point. And so that there's not much more fighting they can do. So if this person has been fighting, um, I'm not laughing. I'm just, the reason why there's a little bit of a laughter there in my voice is because they're so passionate, like I will not sleep or rest till you're mine, but at the same time, um, they're a little in their energy, their 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 mind is saying, 
I will not rest in your mind, but in their energy, they're like, whoa. They're, um... Hmm. They're a little bit all over the place because of how wild they are for you, how the world is wild because it feels out of control. So they want this victory. They want this spiritual union. And it's based in a lot of obsessive thinking about you and obsessive wanting to be close to you and wanting to run towards you and give you a cup of love and, and shower you with a new beginning here. So for many of you, it is a new beginning or a new understanding to an older relationship. If this is a new relationship, they're feeling like a new sense of life and they want to rush in and shower you with love, shower you with passion, shower you with sweetness, and they've, they've made up their mind on that. I believe the devil energy is here as their feelings of like compulsivity towards you. We have loneliness. So they might have built up a lot of walls, um, especially with their usual modus operandi, which is thinking a lot and not feeling. We have explore, map show what has already been discovered, go another way. Yeah, so the, they don't have the map here. They're like really just exploring, but they're tired of loneliness and they're tired of being stuck in their fear. So they've like made the decision to pursue love with you no matter what, pretty much. So we have freedom. The energy of freedom supports our sense of limitless possibilities. So they're going from loneliness to limitlessness, you know, to freedom. Boundless expression and bold exploration. So the night energy is very much a forward moving, like they've decided they're coming forward. They want this ticket to freedom that they see with you and loving you. We have past life relationship. You have known each other before. So this newness could be that you've never experienced togetherness in this lifetime, and now you can. So this is a lot of passion and love, and like that's how they feel. And so you could see how it could feel like double energy. Like the way he's gripping her arm, right? It's like, I need you, you know? It's like, a, and I need you feeling, and they're not very comfortable with that so we've got get to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens so this person wants to get to know you at a at a deeper level on this planet and then we have multi-dimensionality the frequency of multi-dimensionality activates our awareness of our true essence which is eternal and multi-dimensional so like i'm not going to get into too much physics but just so you know there really isn't past lives. All lives are happening at one time, past, present, future. So there's this bond that you guys share from a past life that could be quite triggering for you both. So what's happening here is this need to explore this love for you that goes beyond time and space. And it's very spiritual and it's very compulsive and it's not, they can't say no. So they don't want to be alone anymore. They're tired of the separation. I really love this energy. The sad, the, the loneliness is sad, but look at the card, it's togetherness, right? So there's a whole wheel of fortune type of energy here that brings the two of you together for new love. And Six of Cups always is like a soulmate, past life kind of energy to me. So past life energy towards you uh, a multi-dimensionality that's bringing you guys freedom. And it's very interesting. There's many, many layers to this person's thoughts and feelings for you, but they're really excited to get to know you. And that's really strongly coming through, friends. So in summary, how they think and feel, they feel like you're their soulmate. They're overflowing with love. They have a very clear understanding of who you are to them in terms of they know that they've decided that no matter what they've been through, they're wanting to explore this. They want to come towards you if they haven't already. 
with the night uh with this night energy which is like very romantic and very heroic and very like dramatic to make a declaration you know that they want to explore this connection so it's very it's like i'm hearing the word valiant all right so let's get some charms and then if you stick around for the extended reading i'm going to do a look at what their message is to you what they want to tell you okay but let's first get some charms get some more clues so when you met this person you might have remembered them you're like oh i know them <laughs> Past life experience, right? Just remembering you. This is unusual. We have two Z's. Two Z's. So, I don't know. Maybe you guys like ZZ Top. <laughs> Z's are also a, uh, an indicator of sleeping, right? Um, so, if this has been asleep or your, your love life has been asleep, it is now waking up. So, we have commitment here with this uh, wedding ring, engagement ring. We have a 7, a 12, could be July 12th, December 7th, significant for you. Lucky number 13. I was going to make a joke about you. they could be born in the 13th month. <laughs> of course, there is no 13th month. Um, you could. They could be born on the 13th. They could be born on the 17th, the 12th of the month, any month. Um, we have a O. Oh, we have star seed energy here. We have the letter I. I Z Z O. These are little stampers. They're so cute. I could have had to buy them for my charms. Um, what else? We have an E. P. We have star seed energy. Little alien. Oh, music. Your music, music to this these person's ears with this treble clef. You have, you might have a high pitched voice. Oh, Archangel Michael again. So very guided connection. Aha. So we have another eye. Ooh, wow! We have two archangels. That hasn't happened in like I don't know, maybe a year or more. That's awesome. So there's a lot of divine support here. A lot of support from your angels. Archangels at that. Um, with this blue energy, getting your throat chakra open. We have F like Frank here. A lot of energy here spun up. A lot of faded energy, like that it's made to happen, you know? Feel like it's made to happen. We have 11, so it could be uh, also Scorpio energy, Cancer, Sagittarius. Capricorn. Yeah, that's just a few that I see, but could be any sign, friends. So yeah, this is super intense. Past life, they remember you. Um, even like a just childlike love, right? It's just, but it's so intense and like it's not going away, friends. So if you'd like to find out their personal message to you, feel free to stick around for the uh, extended reading. Make sure you guys follow me over on Instagram. It'd be fun to have you there. That's a growing community and it's much more personal. I'm on there a lot commenting and yeah, if you're interested in connecting that way and make sure you drop a comment. I care about how you feel and make sure you subscribe to the channel. That way you will never miss a video. All right, friends, so much love and light. Take care. Hi, pile three. Welcome to your reading. We are looking at your person's thoughts and feelings for you right now. We're doing an extended reading, looking at what your person wants to tell you. What is their channeled message to you? All right, friends, let's get right into it. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. If you like Instagram, I'm over there. Much more intimate setting, less people. And um, yeah, it'd be nice to connect if you enjoy my energy. So let's get into it. We have the Queen of Pentacles here. We have the Black Obsidian. 
that is a protective energy. So there's a, an element of safety here. I feel like they, your person feels like you're very grounded. You're very nurturing. I want to say mothering as well. Um, they love that aspect about you. You can take care of everything. You can work and focus on your coin and your bag. And you can also like take care of your family. And you're very grounded. And they love that about you. So we have, I get lost in your energy. So I usually started, I wanted to start with that, but here it comes. So they get lost in your energy. You're very grounded to them. So it's easy for them to like, fix, I'm hearing the word fixate on you. We have the page of cups, a lot of sweet energy, a lot of loving energy, playful, sweet energy. We have the death card. So this person's really transforming as a result of you. They might've been used to women who are much flakier. That's what I'm hearing. Ten of Swords. Mm -hmm. They're having some hard times come to a day gone end, friends. It's coming to an end. So we have God is source energy is the one supporting this transformation. Divinely guided to each other, my friends. We have the Queen of Swords, so you're equally decisive and, and good at setting boundaries we have the tower <laughs> i think you took i'm hearing like you took this person's life by storm and i weren't expecting you you make them feel like a child almost because you're so big and beautiful and they're like hmm Sometimes I think they tower, you tower over them. Two of Pentacles, causing them to be balanced. Nine of Cups, causing them to remember their dreams. Hmm. Okay, those are the tarot that I chose for you. So let's stick with this energy. Okay, so when they met you, something, they, like you caused them a tower moment, okay? They get lost in your energy. They had a tower moment. They met you. And I feel like they had a heart chakra awakening. And they might have had one before. Maybe they've had one before. But they're having another one. <laughs> and it's causing them to remember their dreams. Causing them to remember what they wanted in a, in a, in a, count, in a divine counterpart. What they wanted in a person. They're not looking for a hot mess, okay? And in fact, because you have it together, I'll, I'll, you really have it together, you're good at your boundaries, you're very grounded, and that's helping them to find safety in their heart to remember what they are passionate about. And to them, you feel like a dream come true. I'm hearing this is an invitation. They're still at this is an invitation stage. Like they see you as an invitation. So this might be very new or it could be that you're not in a relationship with each other yet. But this person sees you as very inviting and they see you as part of their wishes coming true on this earth. They see you a part of a balanced future. And this is at a time where like a lot of SHIT could hit the fan, right? But now here, they're lost in your energy and they feel like the hermit, like um, like God's source energy brought you to them and now they're like in a mystical place. And I'm hearing the song Lost in the Woods from Frozen 2. Um, so they feel like Lost in your energy, lost in the woods. You should listen to that song. It's really, really sweet. Okay, let's get some more of your oracle cards here. We have service. I feel good when I can help others. I feel like this person has, this person might have their own YouTube platform or some kind of service that they do to, for others, whether it's medical, like spiritual, financial, they're of service to others. We have recharge. There's nothing like a walk on the beach to soothe your soul. I believe you helped this person recharge their energy just by being you. We have new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings, so you are 
You are the new love. <laughs> we have, it is safe for you to love. So open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So um, they realize that it's safe to love you, that there's something like I already mentioned, dependable about you and grounded. And because you set good boundaries, they're like, Ooh, who is this person? Like, I also think you're very confident and um, you don't need to people please. So that's something new to them. I think the tower moment here is this rapid transformation in their heart space with the new love and the nine of cups. It's bringing like a lot of um, renewal to them, recharged, re recharged, renewed energy, balance, right? With two of two of pentacles, we were talking about this. The frequency of balance supports our ability to find harmony with all aspects of our three-dimensional, multi-dimensional layers of reality. So, yeah, this is a rapid um, energy of balance, like. You are the yin to their yang. Or you could probably be the yang to their yin. I think you have more um, male energy than they do uh, by nature. I think it's something you've cultivated in yourself. And we have abundance. The energy of abundance activates our ability to manifest the wealth we need and the sense of fulfillment that comes from a heart and soul that are overflowing with love and gratitude. So they see you as super abundant with the queen of pentacles you've got your finances in order or you're like you're feeling good about you know the where, how you're showing up in the world abundant with abundance you're not needy that way that's a relief to this person i feel like this person also appreciates that you are in service of others so in summary here their thoughts and feelings so they get lost in in your energy the same time you, you've created a lot of balance for them in their in their life in general and it's an energy that they appreciate getting lost in because it's never going to take them too far from themselves they found a great deal of balance here uh, and a, a deep connection to their heart's desires in you in you and through you and your your uh you and your person are connecting with this abundance and they see you as like a service oriented person that they could make a, a lot of money with <laughs> or, or create a lot of love with or a lot of abundance with. Okay, so there's, it's a new love and it's humbling to them. And what I'm seeing here is just a snapshot of when they met you, right? They met you they, a lot of a hardship came to an end because they had they got a lot of balance in their life, and they sort of took down their um, ego. And now, and they're in this transformation to experience this new love and this this romance towards you. And even though they feel in all these loving feelings, you're very grounded and decisive, so they can't get too swept away. Is what I'm hearing. So let's get some charms. Then we'll do the extended reading. Which is their message to you? I think you're shocked to this person, and like, there's not many things that can shock this person. I, they're not easily shocked. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. They're pretty laid back. So we have the number four, we have a Y, a number three. They could be uh, 43 or 34 years old. They could be born in the seventh month, adding these together, or born on the seventh day, the third or the fourth of the month. People who love are forgiving. You might have really helped this person let go of the toxicity that they felt in their heart, un not unable to forgive. See, they, this is written on their heart, so there's a lot of words here, right here in this heart. So, like, they have a lot to say to you. We have Gemini energy. We have an R. 
we have a T. Mm, octopus. Very divine intelligent animals. Like this is a very divinely intelligent person and a divinely intelligent connection. We have an H. Like Henry. We have an H like Harry too. Um, so we have this um, conch shell or a nautilus shell where it's this deepening where it just doesn't end. So we have this starseed energy here. We have this Atlantean starseed energy. You're very safe to connect here. It's the safe energy, that thimble. That's it. Telling me that directly. We have an M or W. Written in the stars, we have that gold star. We have Christ consciousness. This person might be religious, uh, re Christian. We have a K. Hmm. We have a rainbow. So this is also the energy of Lumeria. This person might really like your <laughs> shoe, like your feet or your shoes. These high heels, or they they like they like you in high heels. Um, there's a lot of sacral chakra energy here coming through. There's a lot of passion and romance, a lot of physical connection energy, a lot of like um, energy of wanting to be close to you in, in a sexual way. Coming out of their shell here. Mm, this is a pearl. So like they see you as a gem, a gift, a pearl. This tree, it's like the tree of life here. So this is like the 10 of pentacles as a charm, very grounded. Star seeds, you've been, like, I really feel like you've been brought together um, to help this person to change. And I see a lot of them here and less of you um, now that we're into the charms and the cards we saw a lot of you. But understand like there's abundance here and there's a connection here that's very genuine and it's causing a lot of balance in your person and they really hold you in a very high, high regard. And you might really be attracted to the ocean and they, they really like that about you. Okay, Pile 3, well, thank you so much for coming by. I'm going to jump over to the extended reading. If you like it, make sure you like it. Subscribe to the channel for future videos. Hit the bell notification and never miss when I post a video. Uh, what else, guys? Oh, yeah, and make sure to come over to Instagram. I have an Instagram account that's uh, growing, and so it's, it's an easy way to connect with me. It's an easy way to interact with this energy uh, in a more personal way. All right, so much love and light. Take care, pile three.